and good morning. Another day, another adventure, another hike. Today I'm going to be doing the Ingleborough Peak, which is one of the three peaks up this way in the Yorkshire Dells. One of them, which is Wernside, the other, Penny Ghent. Chosen a, a really quiet day, quite warm actually. So, glad spring is coming. So, I'm tackling Ingleborough Peak, which is about 725 meters up in the air. Um, uh, the weather hopefully should be a lot more clearer today I've just gone through a lot of fog and mist traveling up this way so uh, it's actually turned out wonderful oh that sunshine that ray in the water just hits you it's a bit more steeper route which I need to get used to again and well hopefully I can see all views around up that way considering now well, it's meant to be cloudy as of today which is 20th of March but I've chosen Ingleborough as I've never been before plus it gives me a bit more insight of how high I can go and build my strength up again for Snowden in May it's only a couple months away now, looking forward to it. And uh, I really hope for the best <laughs> that the weather will be pan out all right. I'm not gonna be rushing in today as much. Don't know what to expect. Right here, the grotto. Look at this. It's quite a little fascinating ridge hill. Quite amazing. And this is what the grotto is. Grotto is. Look at this. You can tell it's been built nearly over 100 years ago. Probably can't see it in the dark. But All right. See, something special like this is what makes it unique going up to places. When I did a Wernside, did that a couple of years ago, and that was quite a straightforward up, ascending straight up, and then it was a bit more rocky towards climbing down. So, I'm hoping oh, what I'm, route I'm taking today is I'm doing a 17 kilometer route that faces north of the Yorkshire Dells and heading straight down to the east side and round back to Clapham. I haven't done anything like this in about a year ago, something major. So when I went up to Great Wernside last year, I think it was July, that I managed to uh, do a, uh, I think it was 704 metres above sea level. 
so it wasn't as bad as like this though but it was a bit of a tremendous time and especially when I injured my ankle about a couple months prior so I'm taking my time now not doing anything silly last thing I want is to be out again <laughs> say it's a mini scramble this <laughs> I think there'd be nothing left Ooh. you don't want all this coming down on you oh, oh. oh wow so yeah A lot more walkers will come up this way which I always feel like safety <sighs> the shadow oh what a lovely warm day for it apparently it could be a bit misty up there though on Ingleborough uh, oh Never expected this amount of rock formation. Uh, but just talking to another hiker. He did say uh, it was his best one out of the three, which so far is great. Going back to my cycling, I used to do it lots over the years when I was a bit younger I traveled down well, when I lived down south I was a bit more cyclist geek riding was just perfect for me did miles and miles a day stopped about a good five years I think ago five six years since passing my test so it's like you're not used to it but just want to pick the bike up I remember how to uh, ride one and uh, made me feel like yes can't wait especially with the uh, long days of summer I'm hoping to uh, start traveling with it simple now not as treacherous and valley part and rocky as it was but gradually gonna get there oh, don't want to fall in there I saw a part of gaping gill didn't want to go too much down in there you can do but I'm gonna carry on so I'm pretty much on the halfway point now. But yeah, definitely wanted to take a bit more. You, you definitely want to start early when doing hikes like this if you're not used to it.
think these are like Quite eerie, this. <laughs> now there's a gate at the top there, so I'm hoping that's the last of the gate, and uh, yeah, no wonder. <laughs> I say I've got some sort of athleticism in me, but heck, one mistake that'll cost you. You're halfway, and I'm going back to Clapham. Three and a half mile walk to Clapham. There's a path there, just right over there, maybe, I don't know if you were able to see it, I climbed all the way up there, and then a 17 a mile, excuse me, a 17 kilometers worth of pathway. I must be really mad to do it, but I was fully prepared this time around with all the uh, equipment I needed food, a drink a little bit of aid Oh, well, look, look 
at this one last time of Ingleborough. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna do it again. But nope. <laughs> so thank you for uh, watching my channel, Adam's Adventures. This has been a pleasant and the most extraordinary walk that I've done so far this year at Ingleborough in the Yorkshire Dales. Stay tuned for more adventures in the near future.